Tonight, the public will get a chance to sound off on a planned 80-mile trail linking the Cooper to the Santee River. News 2's Travis Rice has more on the East Cooper Trail. Good evening, guys. If it all goes to plan, the Ravenel Bridge may soon have some competition when it comes to being a workout hotspot. Fitness fanatics may have to be patient for a more natural exercise option. The East Cooper Trail, 82 miles of trails connecting the Cooper River to the Santee up north. A release study on the proposed trail looks good on paper, but that's where it's staying for now. Around here, we don't really have access to safe routes to get to our natural areas and to the beautiful places that we have. And I would love to just see this East Cooper Trail be something that people in our community can use. Catherine Main is the executive director of the East Cooper Land Trust, a group that's been trying to get the linear park built, something that may not happen until 2035. Why is it going to take so long? Well, there are so many different property owners that we're going to have to coordinate with to make this happen. The Land Trust is in talks with the U.S. Forest Service, Charleston County, among others. Planning a realistic route through multiple jurisdictions can be really complex, so that's why we've been using our mapping software to try to get the best route. This project may take 20 years or a very long time, but if we don't start now, then we're going to lose the opportunity. Funding is the biggest obstacle for the trail, but those at the Land Trust say time spent stalling means land lost to new developments. I just want some of it to be left for my kids and my grandchildren so that they also can enjoy the natural areas that we have here in East Cooper. And for those wanting to know more about the East Cooper Trail or get involved, there's a meeting tonight at Alhambra Hall in the Old Village from 6 to 7.30. In Mount Pleasant, Travis Rice, News 2.